Hello everyone, welcome back to Autotrend TV. This is Viprajesh from SGA Skoda showroom in Coimbatore and I am here with the brand new Skoda Kushak mid-level ambition variant. We have already seen all the features and facilities available on the top spec style variant of the Skoda Kushak. So today in a similar level of detail, we are going to explore this mid-spec ambition variant. From the front, it is not actually easy to differentiate between the top spec style and the mid-level ambition variants. That's because most of the details are similar. First of all, the chrome trim surrounding the piano black signature front grille and the LED headlamps remain exactly the same as the top spec style variant and so are the halogen front fog lamps. While the all-around body cladding and the silver finish kit plates are exactly the same as the top spec style variant, the lower Adam misses out on some chrome trim. That said, most people will not notice the difference between the top spec style and the mid-level ambition variant from the front at least. From the side, it is easy to notice the 16-inch single-tone alloy wheels which come with the ambition variant. While the style variant gets dual-tone 17-inch alloy wheels, these single-tone 16-inch wheels are rather simple yet classy. The Skoda branding on the fenders remain exactly the same with the piano black finish. However, chrome finish door handles along with the chrome finish window surrounds are available only on the top spec style variant. So compared to the style variant, the mid-level ambition variant gets black surround for the window line and body colored door handles. However, both variants are available with the exact same silver finished roof rails which are made of aluminium. Coming towards the back, yet again it is going to be difficult to differentiate between the style and the ambition variants, except for the lack of the chrome strip running across the width of the tailgate. The other subtle difference is the differentiation of the LED tail lamps. While the style variant gets a crystalline design, the mid-spec ambition variant gets rather normal looking LED tail lamps. All the other things remain exactly the same with the Skoda branding, the rear windshield wiper washer and defogger and even the reverse parking camera. Just like the front bumper, the rear bumper also gets a silver finished skid plate design. So on the exteriors at least, there is not much to differentiate between the top spec style and the mid-level ambition variant except for the smaller sized alloy wheels. Now let's get inside this car to check out its comfort, features and facilities. Yes folks, I am right now inside the brand new Skoda Kushak mid-spec ambition variant and this is how the dashboard looks like. To begin with, the overall dashboard design and layout looks exactly the same as the top spec style variant. However, there are significant differences in terms of features and trim and also the overall quality of the materials used. That said, the steering wheel is exactly the same unit as seen on the top spec variant, uh, which is also filled with multiple buttons. This design is a two spoke design. It is a modern Skoda steering wheel and it looks quite nice. However, some people may like it, some people may not. That said, this design is growing over me and it is actually very high quality and superb to hold and feel. Uh, coming to the features available on the steering wheel, you of course can see the steering mounted audio controls and also the controls for the TFT instrument cluster available as standard. So that is pretty nice. This car also gets cruise control integrated into the uh, headlamp stock, the high beam stock on the left side of the steering wheel. This car does not have automatic headlamps or wiper functions. Talking about automatic headlamps and wiper functions, you can see the headlamp controls on the right side of the steering wheel. There is no auto headlamp function integrated into this. So this car does not get automatic headlamps. That said, this car gets LED headlamps as seen on the top spec style variant as well. Coming to the instrument cluster, this instrument cluster is exactly the same unit seen on the top spec variant. Uh, before turning on the power, I'll just show you the keys. This car does not get a push button start as seen on the top spec style variant instead it gets a flip key with uh, remote functions integrated into this and you have to slot in the key to actually turn on the engine so this is how everything looks like and let me just turn on the engine and the aircon is on as you can see this car also gets the touch based automatic climate control system seen on the top spec style variant as well that said, this car does not get uh, ventilated seats as seen on the style variant and neither does it get leather upholstery. Instead, this gets fabric finish and interesting uh, choice of uh, colors over here to make the cabin feel slightly sportier. This orange actually matches the body color seen on the outside of the car. So this here is the orange and it feels really nice. Coming to this instrument cluster, it is exactly the same unit and you can control various things and you can... Uh, have an option of multiple display and detail information choices as well. You have vehicle status, driving data, audio, telephone, all those things you have already seen on the top spec variant itself. Another feature carried forward from the top spec variant is this very same 10 inch 
massive touchscreen infotainment system this is exactly the same unit this is how you turn this on and slide it to open let me just go to the home screen and in fact it is exactly the same no changes in terms of features or overall connectivity options you get android auto apple carplay as standard along with phone mirror link connect as well you also get uh, navigation uh, based on the sim card you have to slot it somewhere and all the driving statistics everything remains exactly the same let me just go to the settings and going into the settings uh, let me just uh, go to lights this car also gets uh, interior ambient lighting however this lighting is available only for the front part of the cabin you can control the brightness of that even on this ambition variant using this touchscreen system and everything else remains exactly the same you also get the typical esp turning off button it is not actually a button it is a digital button integrated into this touchscreen system itself so the overall usage the overall uh, user interface is pretty slick and the touchscreen system is uh, very responsive to use as well it is nice it is convenient and next talking about audio quality this ambition variant does not get the skoda branded speakers instead you get uh, regular normal speakers i don't know which brand are they of but still you get six speakers including two tweeters so audio quality may not be as great as the top spec style variant but still it is going to be decent uh, that was all about the touchscreen well let me just uh, turn on the reverse parking camera so this ambition variant also gets reverse parking camera and the overall quality is adequate if not the best so that's all about this coming to other things well let's talk about the finish and materials available on this mid spec ambition variant you can see that this here is the brushed aluminum finish available on the ambition variant on the top spec style variant you used to see a different material it was much better to look at and it was definitely more premium but on this mid spec ambition variant you don't get all those chrome finishes and uh, higher quality materials instead these are slightly budget friendly and they look good but yeah they are not as great as the top spec variants finish and look similar to the non leather fabric finish on the seats you don't get leather finish on the door pad armrests uh, but still you get nice cushioning on the armrests despite being fabrics and that is a pretty nice touch the door handles are still chrome finished and they are proper metal door handles so that is a nice thing to note and the detail on the ac vents is also slightly different compared to the top spec style variant coming to other things well let's just take a look at the driver door control and you get all four power windows as standard from the entry level variant itself and this mid spec ambition variant also gets power folding orvms as well so that's how it works basically to make it work you have to push the joystick down and if you bring it back to the normal position it just pops out so that's how it works it is nice and neat and compared to the top spec style variant there is yet another feature difference that is electric sunroof this ambition variant does not get an electric sunroof only the top spec style variant gets that well apart from the sunroof everything else on the roof remains exactly the same including these led cabin lights which are uh, rather intelligently designed you get multiple lights individually for every passenger and you also include individual lights for the rear seat passengers so that is pretty nice that said you don't get auto dimming irvm instead this here is a manual switch for the irvm control and there is a typical vanity mirror for the sun visor only on the passenger side other storage spaces inside the cabin remain exactly the same including this superbly grippy cup holder console uh, which you can use just your one hand to open the cap of the bottle and uh, that's it it is easy to use thanks to these uh, superbly grippy rubber felt lining underneath you also get this uh, large uh, cubby hole over here to place your smartphones or whatever the top spec style variant had wireless charging facility over here but this ambition variant does not get that instead you get these two typical c type usb ports again c type only no other usb ports over here there is no regular usb port in this car only usb c type and you get the typical large glove box with cooling function as standard on this mid spec ambition variant itself then there is obviously the large uh, bottle holders on every door including these bands for your documents or papers whatever you want to place that and this ambition variant also offers driver seat height adjustment apparently all variants of the skoda kushak offer 
height adjustable driver seats as standard. Now let's take a look at the rear seats. Yes guys, I am right now in the back seat of the Škoda Kushak Ambition mid-spec variant and this is how the dashboard looks like. There is obviously the difference of trim, level, materials and the colors uh, on the dashboard especially. But still this Ambition variant's dashboard looks premium enough and it does not compromise on overall quality while also offering a lot of features as standard. Coming to the rear seats, of course, the space remains exactly the same. There is a lot of interior cabin space and the seating comfort also is pretty good for the outside passengers on the rear seats as well. Typically, the mid-seat passenger may not be as comfortable as the outside passengers due to this large hump on the backrest. Uh, this is due to the heavy amount of bolstering for the outside passengers. The outside passengers will be humongously comfortable, greatly comfortable, but still the mid-seat passenger will have to compromise, will have to deal with this large hump and this large hump is also partly due to this armrest so this mid-spec variant also gets a center armrest that said three adjustable headrests are standard across all variants even on the entry level active variant of the skoda kushak this ambition variant also has a surprise this year is the three point seat belt for even the mid seat passenger of the rear seat so this is also another feature available as standard across all variants of the skoda kushak you can see that this is a proper three-point seat belt and not a regular lap belt. In terms of other safety features, you get ISO fixed style seat mounts as standard across all variants. And in terms of convenience features, Skoda Kushak also gets rear AC vents as standard across all variants, which is a big surprise. And uh, this Ambition variant also gets two C-type USB ports even for the rear seat passengers. So that is pretty nice to have. Uh, the overall comfort of the rear seats is exceptionally great. Well, at least for the outside passengers. Just like the front door armrests, the rear door armrests also get soft cushioning with fabric finish. So that is pretty nice to have. However, this uh, mid-spec Ambition variant does not get six airbags. You can see that there is no airbag marking over here. So this Ambition variant gets only dual airbags. It still provides other safety features including ABS, ESP, traction control, brake assist, uh, brake disc wiping and so on along with ISO fixed style seat mounts and remote sensor locking. Well, that was all about the rear seat feel and experience of the Skoda Kushak Ambition variant. Let's now check out the boot space. The boot of the Skoda Kushak can also be opened by pressing the center button on the key fob. So here we go. It was rather easy. Opening the boot will reveal 385 liters of luggage space which is standard across all variants and in the boot area especially there is no difference when you compare with the top spec style variant. That's because there is the very same parcel tray and even the boot lamp is offered on this mid spec variant along with the couple bag hooks on either side. Just like the higher spec style variant, this ambition variant also gets 60-40 split folding rear seats. While the top spec style variant had a 16 inch steel wheel for a spare tire, this mid level ambition variant, which gets 16 inch alloy wheels as standard, gets a 15 inch steel spare wheel. While the overall boot capacity is lesser than that seen on the Hyundai Creta or the Kia Seltos, the boot itself is shaped really well and can be fully utilized. Now let's talk about the pricing and conclude this review. That was all about the brand new Škoda Kushak's mid spec ambition variant. To sum it all up, this mid-spec variant is the most sensible one, offering only the essential functions and features, if not more fancy features such as an electric sunroof, 17-inch alloy wheels or ventilated seats. This Ambition variant is also available with the 6-speed torque converter automatic transmission, which additionally gets hill hold control as standard. That said, this mid-spec variant still lacks a couple more airbags, which could have been provided as an option at least. Overall, this Ambition variant is a more sensible option for people who are not keen on fancy features. Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this Ambition variant. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.